Poos just off her second match of the Bank of Hope LPGA match play presented by MGM Rewards. And you ended all square on, tell me, let's, let's start with the big one. Tell me about that last putt to, to finish the round tie. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the ones. It was straight downhill. I kind of knew, like, there's no way to leave it short. And also, um, it was one of those putts where you really have nothing to lose. Um, just picked a good line and hit hit a good putt. And luckily, it hit the hole. <laughs> Were you uh, upset that that putt was just for an all-square result? Uh, you wish that would have been the one-up you needed? or? Um, I mean, I think it was a pretty well-fought match all throughout the day, kind of back and forth. Um, obviously, like, you always want the win, but I'm still really happy with the all-square. Yeah. Um, speaking of the competition, how, how, what did you see in Matilda's play today that impressed you, and how, how was she as a competitor? Yeah, I mean, she was awesome all, all around, but I was really impressed by her chipping. Um, she chipped one in for eagle on number seven and then just made a bunch of really tough up and downs to just keep herself in it. Uh -huh. And what did you find most helpful about your game that kept you kept you in the running all, all match yeah I think just course management and also like I always hit the ball pretty well just trying to hit the fairways and greens and giving myself good birdie looks throughout the whole day right and um, I'm looking at your uh, results here so you are at the top of your bracket now yeah with one and a half points after that match you you sit at the top of your of your grouping um, but everyone is really close behind this. Grouping is, is all up in the air. So tell me, does that change your game plan at all tomorrow? Or, or what's your mentality going in to the final day of group play? Yeah, not really. I think match play is just really fun. You're just really trying to you know, beat the person that you're playing with um, and just trying to um, pick good targets, hit good shots, and you know, go try to win my match tomorrow. I know Sarah has some questions for you. She's mm -hmm. on the Zoom right now. Of course I do, Allison. I'm Hi, always Sarah. Gonna... Hey, great putt. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Something that I think a lot of people may not know, I mean, obviously you made a lot of noise on the Curtis Cup team last year, so you're not unfamiliar when it comes to those big moments. Was there anything you were thinking about today or even yesterday as you came into this event from your previous match play experiences that really have helped you so far? Yeah, I mean, I think my game's just been in a good spot. Um, missed the cut at Founders, but it just kind of felt like everything didn't quite click there. Um, still felt like I had a pretty good week. Um, just kind of tightened up the game leading into this week and really just trying to take it one hole at a time and kind of telling myself, you know, like the match is never really over until it's over. So yesterday, just trying to close out the match um, as fast as I could. And then today, just you know, trying to hang in there and win as many holes as I could. As a player that's been in that spot quite a few times, what was going through your mind as you were lining up that putt and preparing to hit it? Really was just, you know, I mean, there's nothing to lose, right? Like if it goes in, it goes in, but if not, then I'll just try to win my match again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a tough putt, which I think makes it a little more relaxed where you, you want it to go in, but you're not really expecting it to go in, if that makes sense. For sure. And just, um, I feel like your group has a lot of a little bit of match play experience today um, playing with Matilda. I mean, who basically clinched the Solheim for, for Europe last year. Um, as somebody that I'm sure has Solheim aspirations, um, how cool was it to play with somebody that's been there, done that? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I mean, I watched her play in the Solheim and then I saw all of her head covers today. Um, and... It was just really awesome to see her game. And, you know, I know she's won a couple of times on tour as well. So just really cool to see it up close. And then just finally for me, you're a pretty soft-spoken player, but I think you get kind of steely and very kind of intense when match play comes out. Is there something in your demeanor that just likes this style of play, maybe more than stroke play? Um, I think this is just such a perfect course for match play. You know, you'll have a couple of holes where you have a good birdie opportunity, and then you'll also have a couple where – par is just going to be really tough and par will have a pretty good chance of winning um so i just like how the course sets up and i do like that match play like you know you will find yourself in some spots where you just have a putt to tie or tie the hole and i think kind of frees you up a little more good luck tomorrow thank you mm -hmm. Long round today, obviously mm -hmm. and a little bit of a long round yesterday right so yeah. what are you doing yeah. just to sort of 
relaxed, get ready for tomorrow? Yeah, um, I mean, the match play event set us up with a show last night, so that was really awesome. Went with my mom, um, and there's just so much good food in Vegas. So just really been eating well this week and then just going to the hotel and resting. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you.